I'm just checking on it. She sent me a question mark. So I said, well, baby, you okay? He's 50 years old and talking like a child. I'm childlike, not childish. I think you're a little both. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction videos. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And he falls on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram. 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 Follow us on the personal YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It's right mm -hmm. down there. <laughs> Is that childish? Yes. <laughs> and today <laughs> we are reacting to a funeral speech. <laughs> you wanted to take it to a place where it was going to be something auspicious. We are reacting and, yeah. to the most sacred of Hindu songs. Yeah, lies and propaganda. Uh, um, anyways, today we're actually reacting to an A.R. Rahman interview oh. with Leiden, the prodigy piano player, the kid. Mm -hmm. Apparently they sat down and had a little chat, sweet, and talked. So I'm guessing A.R. Rahman is probably one of his idols. Well, I would assume. Yeah, me too. I don't know for sure. You think they're gonna talk about music? No. All right, here we go. Hey, so Lydia. I'm feeling He's feeling, beaming already. I'm feeling really good, Uncle. Living in the CBS world. You call him Uncle? Yeah. It's our normal job, right? <laughs> yeah, Uncle. Actually, uh, there was contestants from uh, 195 countries, and there's only one winner, and I won that. <laughs> <laughs> your age actually played a good factor, and of course, you're extraordinary talent. Oh, thanks, Uncle. You, you were playing drums when I first met you, and I think yeah. the first time I met you was in uh, Kavi Talev and audio release. Yeah, yeah, Uncle, yeah, I think so. And then you came to KM, I didn't know about the story. Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, first, I met you at the audio launch, and then you called me, and you made me six, uh, sit next to you Correct. and took a picture. And then <laughs> I joined KM for Tabla. Okay. For Tabla, and I studied for like uh, six months, and then I, I was very impressed with uh, that. So you came and peeped in uh, this this room. Yeah. <laughs> you peeped and uh, you you saw Chatterjee's students playing. Yes. So that was so that was awesome, and I and I wanted uh, and I asked my dad to uh, like join in this class the the, the Russian piano, and uh, I got interested in the piano. So I started to play piano, and I started to learn under Chatterjee master. Wow, great. Your famous teacher, Mr. Chatterjee. Yeah. What do you want to talk about him? He's a very like great te teacher, piano teacher, and he not only teaches piano but he teaches all the emotions and how to play and mm -hmm. and he and he often tells that piano should sing. So like that very much. And when he plays, I really admire him, and he plays with a lot of feel. So he's a great master, <laughs> and he plays in the Russian style. So I really like this. Great. So it's it's just that learning from here. When I uh, started KM, I started as an inspirational institute, you know, yeah. because in a place where uh, there's no nurturing of Western music, we have our own amazing tradition of Indian classical, mm -hmm. and we were nurturing because film music needs Western music notation, harmony, everything. I felt the need of starting something like that. I'm so so proud and so glad that you won. Thank You're you. like a flag bearer for KM Music, <laughs> KM Conservatory, and for all of us Indians, Chennaiites. So tell me, what do you do and how long do you practice? I practice uh, five to six hours a day. On five the to piano. six hours? And, and no PlayStation? Not a shot. Uh, what is that? <laughs> you got some <laughs> on a PlayStation. No, I don't know. That is why you're winning. Oh. <laughs> so you're PlayStation rather than playing piano. Okay. Okay. So, uh, well, another thing is very important at this age, yeah. you know, because even I started at the, at the same age. We should not miss on sports, and uh, yeah, we should not miss a, on the rounded life. We have to be yeah. conscious about it. But practicing like that is very, very important. I think we are all learning from you to be so passionate, because in the world of distractions, you know, today all the kids are distracted, and uh, your father, your family, and you have just focused on music, focused on you know becoming extraordinary in what you're doing. And so it's a great example. You set a great example for our you know, generation, our future generation. Not only in music, in many things, just to be focused. Because we have so much of, I'm, I'm repeating it again, because so many distractions. 
there is Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, this, that, mm -hmm. Netflix, <laughs> sure. movies, and a uh, ton of things which comes. And then what you got and what you achieved is because of this undivided attention. You know. Tell me more about your father. Uh, my father is a musician and he plays flute and he composes and he also sings and he plays keyboard and uh, uh, he sacrificed a lot of things for me. That I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like he always uh, cares about me and also my sister and he uh, and he teaches me more and he also advises me a lot of things like how how to like you know how 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 to be. So when you played, you you what did you prepare for the world's best? When when you went, what were your expectations? My expectations are uh, I just uh, practiced the flight of the bumblebee for the first episode when I went, and I had uh, honestly I, I had no plans. So after going there and depends upon situation only, I plan planned and practiced. So you learned all those pieces, the mission important everything. Yes, and I know the tune, and after going there only, I learned the arrangements and everything. How long did it take for that? For learning one piece, it's like half an hour. Half an hour. And then they, they, they suggested something for you? Yeah, they also suggested. And uh, oh, finally they different. said, uh, you can go uh, water That's where you want. 31 minutes? Brilliant. I think the presence of mind is very, very important. Going there and, and going with a very open mind and learning to adapt. That, I think, is what appreciable. You can practice something, you can prepare. But at that point, what will click and what your brain thought would work that is an amazing one. That's why you won. Okay. You know, anybody can learn, mm -hmm. work hard, but you need presence of mind. You need a gift to understand what is necessary, what to talk. And even your interviews, you've really spoken very well. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> what do you want to do in future? What do you want to become? Uh, I want to become a music composer for Hollywood. Good. <laughs> you know, then, you're talking uh, to the right man right I there. I want to go to the moon and play the that moon. That I saw. And be the moon later. Just moon? <laughs> Not Jupiter, Mars and beyond that? Yeah, also that. Also that. Yeah. I personally feel becoming a composer is very good. And I think beyond Hollywood is what you should think. Hollywood is fine. It's not the ultimate destination in music. Because movies are made for the masses. And sometimes they force you to become a certain thing which you're not. They'll force you to, you know, they'll give you music and say, sound like this. Your identity is very, very important. Yeah. From now, you, if you get an identity, they will follow you. Yeah. You don't have to follow them. That's good advice. And uh, in my opinion, I should not be forceful about it. If, if you're a musician, I, I feel like you are like an aspiring ambassador <laughs> for Indian music, for Indians. And what Lang Lang did for China, you know. Sure. Then you see Lang Lang play yeah. the piano. You can see the China, the, the amount of respect China gets. Uh, through Lang Lang, his music, his musicality, and his persona, and I think you should become that for India. Yeah, sure. You know, like a Lang Lang Paul. <clears throat> as a, as a. As a concert pianist, as, as something taking musical to the pinnacle, uh, you know, of yeah. that kind of energy, and uh, not be limited by your film music. Of course, you can do it, but then it, film music will, is a trap in a way. <laughs> for a person like you who can really go somewhere else, you should think of the future. You should not think about what is present. Future will open to you. Obviously. Thank you. As a as a start, uh, I I would like to do for uh, Hollywood animation movies. Mm. Yes. Uh, actually, I I. Music have... is an art, and you can learn that. It's very simple, and I think the way you are learning is uh, really perfect. I think the way you you go deep into things and thing it can be done, but it should not limit you to just a composer because yeah. you are an amazing performer. You proved that to the world. You're, the world's best now. <laughs> so, great expectations. So now every step has to be careful. You have to go beyond. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, after the world's best? Yeah. Uh, practice and learn more. Yeah, that's true. Okay, tell me some tips, uncle, for my career. Um, I think you have your father to guide you. You have a great family. And very, very important thing is uh, if a family is integrated, they're functional, I think it helps people like you to shine, your family is your support, emotionally they, you know, they are the, you know, backbone for you, I can see that, and that's very, very important, you know, when, when a kid needs to come up in life, I feel like 
watching your family is a is a beautiful experience. You know how your father, your mother, your sister, all of you together in music and aspire for higher things, right? And my tips would be to be very careful because now it's only 13. When you're 16, there'll be a lot of distractions. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, I think you, the way you are shaping up your future is great. And I hope, just like how you've been now, just concentrate on what you need to achieve. And all the rest of the things doesn't matter. And find, uh, in my, my goal of life after getting you know, all those international awards and everything, my goal was to see what I can inspire. And because you see the world, there's war, there's this thing, there's negativity. There is so much of negative things and you are beyond that. So you are like a shining star who can tell the world that there's something beyond. Look up to higher ideals, excellence and beauty, love. So you brought all that stuff to us. Right? Do you believe all that? <laughs> Without you knowing, of course. And so when we see you, we see hope. Oh. We see there's still beauty in, in life. We see there's still magic in life, miracles in life, and you are a miracle. Thank you. Thank you so much. Definitely, you need to be set to stage, Lady, from now on. <laughs> Super sweet. Super sweet. Yeah, you could definitely tell. Obviously, he's an admirer of Air Ramon. Of I mean, course. How can you not be? Of course. Um, but you can also tell that Air Ramon, this is not his arena no. either. No. It's kind of like watching uh, most directors do something like this. Correct. Most directors are not, not all, but most. They're very behind the camera people. So they're and not, many actors. Yeah, they're many not, actors, they're not yeah. very personable. No. They're just really good at their job. Correct. And they don't. Really, they're like talking in front of people is not their forte. They can do it, obviously, and I thought he did a really good job. Yeah, he did. He gave some great advice. Um, but yeah, how long would it take you to memorize a Okay, <laughs> so like Flight of the Bumblebee, I would, you know, knowing that song in advance, so I've already got it in my head, Flight of the Bumblebee would take me, and again, it would just be by ear, because if I tried to read the notation on it, I would forget it. Uh, I, I That would take me the better part of probably if I did two to three hours a day it would probably take me five days mm. to get that Something like uh, that. Micah could probably get it within an hour yeah. Micah's a freak yeah yeah Micah Micah literally one of Micah's favorite things to do would be dad name any song and if he knows the song like I could say okay do uh start playing it's a little bit funny he starts playing it in the key and this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can. Have you heard this song before? Have you done this, Micah? No. And he would know it. He'd just mm -hmm. start playing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of those ears. One of those ears. And obviously, this young man is just just off the charts, gifted. But you can see the discipline in his work. Yeah. And and I I do hope. Um, it was funny. <laughs> I found it to be really great mm -hmm. that. Uh, Air Rahman was dissuading him from being a composer of scores and then the very next thing that came out of his mouth was so I want to do scores for animation yeah and I <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I do you know of course be open to other possibilities but I can see in that young man I think since his earliest thoughts it's been I want to score motion pictures in Hollywood and I want to do animated film yeah you know, so yeah, I go for it. I hope he gets to go for he it. actually wants to do it. And I, yeah. and I don't think this is the case. I'm just, it, it's always your hope when you see a kid that they do what they actually want to do. Right. As opposed to the parents pushing because right. that's where their, all their money has gone. Right. Or they have a vision for the kid yeah. rather than allow the kid. I'm not to saying that's what, what they're, what's not happening. Not. I'm just no. hoping, you know, I don't know them. So <laughs> I'm just hoping yeah. that no. this child. If that's where the avenue he wants to go, he goes that way. If he wants to go into gymnastics, and when he's 18, go. Exactly. Yeah. He might at 18 go, you know what? I'm not interested in anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think he will. I don't think he will either. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot of this young yeah. man for I think a he'd long, be a very talented time. composer. I, I, see, I see in him the passion for the art form, 
that isn't going, and the giftedness combined, so he's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, every video we've seen of him has been one incredible, the dual, the dual piano is insane. Uh, and then get to talk to your idol uh, as well. Hey, Ramon, we'd love to talk to you. We would love to no, talk to you. No, this is not a, this is not like a, a preview. I have no connection. No, to nothing's Ramon. going on, stupid babies. This I isn't have, a hint. I have no connection to A.R. Ramon. But goodness. if any of you do and would like to send them our way. We would love to speak to that. Uh, man, my Just goodness. talk an hour about Jai Ho. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that was a joke, everybody. So, Jai Ho, tell me all about it. <sighs> Although that was a great song. Have you done anything other than Slumdog? <laughs> I mean, it's a joke, guys. We know it's a joke. Anyways, uh, if there's more videos of uh, Layden that we need to see, yeah, please everything's send them away. Done. And obviously, I remind. I don't need to tell you that. Here we go.